Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with a little change of pace this time. And what I'm doing is I'm showing you two videos Ooh, bad guy. from the stream. And I stream oh, on Thursday that. nights yeah, and Sunday nights, 6.30 Central right. Time, Stolen USA. Eight. And then sometimes on Wednesday to do the weekly challenges. I don't know how that's going to go, Black Ops 6. Probably the same streaming schedule. But a lot of times I'll have people join me. They're all a great group of guys from beginners to very elite players that have played in pro tournaments and have probably one guy in particular I swear is hard hard point average kills when he's a slayer yeah, on hard point. Guys on this one. Probably around 90 kills a game. But in any case, I'm teamed up with five other guys from the stream. Of <laughs> All of them good players. Yeah, easy shot at killing me. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I get a lot of comments, oh, your streams look easier. Or not your streams. Your lobbies look easier, or my lobbies are harder, or something. And I got played on that. One. Really, we all have the same lobbies once we reach a certain skill level. Now, if you believe that creators like Exclusive Ace and These Knives and Elite Shot and people like that um, actually show you bad times when they get melted. I mean, what come on, that? cadet. Really? Like, we're going to show the worst? No. Oh, what they do is they play that, uh, until they get the content that, that demonstrates that what it is party. they're trying to demo, and it's not necessarily their skill. It might be, like me, a particular build or okay. a particular weapon or a particular kill, perk or something like that. Back. Now, truly, there are build. guns and builds that I've used that I'll play six or seven matches right, to get content, and I will win every single one of those and win them significantly, and SBBM keeps kicking it up. But there are others where I absolutely get melted, and I think, you know what? I'm getting melted with this. It's not worth people's time. So this is an average lobby for me, uh, and it's going to get... A little bit more difficult. This is the fifth game that we've won in a row. We have good players on our team. And SBBM is starting to kick up. Like I said, we all get these lobbies. We get good ones, we get tougher ones. I mean, Exclusive Ace mentions it. In fact, he'll tell you what days to play if you want to get content because there are days that he gets melted. Usually the weekend. I play all seven days of the week. I get content on all of them, and I enjoy playing, and I especially enjoy playing with the guys on the stream. If you join us on Wednesday, or I'm sorry, Thursday or Sunday nights, then eventually you'll be able to work in and play with us. And if we get maybe you know 10, 15 people that want to play, what we'll do is go into a private match, and there we have a lot of fun. We'll play snipers only, even with. People that have never sniped before, they have a lot of fun. They learn. We have guys that can help you with improving your COD game. So it's always a win-win. So I want you to have a good look at this lobby, especially those who say, oh, oh, my lobbies are harder. Well, I've had a few of those people join me during the week. One in particular, uh, he said, well, my lobbies are harder, my lobbies are harder. So... He joined on me, and we had a good time talking, and I love meeting people. I love meeting people on the streams. But this wasn't a stream. Now, first game was a team death match, and we did quite well. In fact, I had one of my better games. I had almost a 4 KD on it. He had a 2-point-something KD. So, yeah, going into the next game, guess what? Uh -oh. SBBM is going to kick in on us like it did on this game and I ended up I think with a 1.67 on another team death match and he ended up with a point four, but he left halfway through the game and didn't say goodbye and you know what I, I don't judge people on what their KD is I think KD is fairly irrelevant unless it is team death match because you do have slayers and soakers on hard points, for example, and some people say, well, I was the slayer. Well, guess what? Unless you have a team like we do here, you have six guys together that have planned out their strategy and know where the other guy is going to be playing, 
There are no slayers. There are no soakers. Everybody's a soaker. Everybody tries to, to gack the enemy while they're going for the hard point. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. Now, if you're teamed up, it can be a different story. But if you're not teamed up, a lot of people use that excuse. Well, I was a slayer to camp in the corner and try to get their KD, KD up as high as possible. And that's why I think it's fairly irrelevant. I think the most relevant st oh, uh, statistic in the game sneaky so -so. is what's your win-loss percentage? If, it is, if it's above one, you're doing great. But if you're playing pubs, you're not teamed up. If it's below one, you might want to look at the way you play. Especially if your KD is above one, your win-loss is below one. That just generally means you're playing selfishly. And that's okay. That's okay, but don't tell, don't tell everybody what your KD is if you're not playing. If you're not playing the uh, objectives, if you're not getting tags. Don't tell what your KD is. If you come in with less than 10 tags, that means that you have played. A bad oh, oh, I got this kill confirmed. <laughs> okay, that's just the facts. I'm not insulting anybody. I'm not trying to. In fact, I like everybody. I don't get frustrated in the games. I don't get angry. But I like to win because second place is the first loser. And we came in first there. Good players on our team. Tough lobby. <laughs> Actually, Fifth Rexy. win in a row. Come on. We're doing great. And some of the elite players were in there. Some of the elite players were watching. And one in particular joined for our sixth game on the stream. And he is the guy that I think scores about 90 kills per hard point. He is a slayer. And that is okay with me because we all know that we have slayers and soakers when we play on the stream. We'll talk about it. We communicate with each other just like a pro team. Now, let me let you know something else. Here's a secret that uh, well, some like creators try to keep point. from you. Some don't. Some freely oh, admit it. Like, a... I like exclusive Ace. He freely admits it, that RPG. there are days when people get melted. And <laughs> like I said, we're not going to show you melted content because it doesn't, it doesn't help. Everybody gets melted. Pros get melted. Not in pub matches. The best that, pros yeah. in the world. I see. Watch almost every game in I don't know, the CDL this time. year and years past, every single one. And I was trying to be cute there with a RPG that I had left over from my daily challenges. And I've seen every pro. You name them, I've seen them get melted in a pro match. So the notion that people never get melted unless they're campers. And there are people with high KDs that are primarily campers. No, I couldn't move. Uh, everybody gets melted, so I'm not ashamed of it. You shouldn't be ashamed of it. It's all part of the learning process. I got melted for probably the first two years I played COD. And now SBBM lets me relive all those happy memories every now and then. And this is one of those times. See the guy in front of me, Max? Great player. We have another one, Mike, great player. We have another one, Unmute, Murderous, Didymus. I mean, if I leave your name off, please don't uh, don't be insulted because we have so many great players, Insured Frames. Um, oh, but one of our best slayers showed up in this game, and he brought along this other lobby, a really nice guy from the UK. He's an outstanding elite COD player. And oh, yeah. oh, oh. He, he, you better bring your best game shield. when you're playing with him right because he's bringing it. the ghosts and demons and goblins on the other team with him. And keep in mind that we had won five games in a row. So SBBM was already kicking in. And you get this guy that easily gets 100 kills on a hard point when he's the slayer. So even the pros have slayers. Look, see, there's one of those guys on hard point. He's not even taking over the point. He's just laying down with his iron back, trying to get kills ostensibly, I guess, for his KD, which, like I said, doesn't matter in hard point. Pros that matter somewhat, I'll admit to that, but they have the slayers, they have the soakers, and everybody soaks, even the slayers, until a soaker gets to the hard point, then they'll go out and try to hold down certain lanes so grandpa's doing everything he can i consider myself a soaker 
So I will do everything I can to get to the hard point just to get a few seconds. And here's another secret, at least in Modern Warfare 3. There's a piece of gear called the Hacked IFF Strobe. I don't know what not smart, smart enough means. If anybody knows what that means, when I kill two guys and it says not smart enough, or is it me that's not smart enough, what does that mean? Comment below. So, there we were against a very good team. Five of us, or six of us, five and, uh, other than me, trying to come back in this hard point and win it because we have like-minded players from all over the world. We have guys from Australia, in, New Zealand. I, We've already mentioned the UK. Friendly people, great players. We have them from continental and Europe. And I, was pumping them full of I don't know that we've had anybody from Asia join us yet. We have people from Canada. Not sure about any other North or Central or South American country. At least nobody's made themselves known from one of those countries in the in in the streams. Obviously, we have people from dozens of countries that watch the video and comment, and I appreciate every one of them. And we're just trying to come back in this game. And it's Thanks not going to be accent. your, you know, this isn't your typical video. I'm showing you the good, the bad, the ugly, the demons, and the angels. Well, they my grandpa's always considered system. himself an angel. Very quickly. But just don't ask grandma, newbie, for her opinion on that one. Don't want to burst your bubble. I don't know how I missed that guy. So we're slugging it out. Highly skilled lobby, both sides. And I know I'm going to get a comment, oh, my lobbies are harder, and that person can join and find out how well they do. And they may be surprised. And you know what? They're welcome. I'm happy to have them. I'm happy to have the guys that say, oh, too easy. Like I said, kind of quoting exclusive ace there, I'm not going to show you the bad stuff. Come on, guys. I guess people give him grief, too. So oh, Grandpa soaking, two seconds. trying to come back. These guys aren't interested in the game going the entire distance. That's another way. Look at their kangaroos. And the shield. I think the shield's overpowered. I think nobody should use it except people on my team. <laughs> but think about it. When you're running around with a high capacity LMG you run very very slow it's almost like you're trying to wade through water in the ocean with the weapon and there's a reason for it because it's so powerful well, I think those with the shield there totally it seems to be there. there's absolutely no movement penalty when they it's on somebody's to, back uh, have a and those guys are jumping like kangaroos with it in front times. of them now there's a good shield that guy's a like fireman from California Holy great guy shield. and I love it when he carries the shield because Usually he's holding down a hard point. But a shield is always active when it's, it's on your back. So LMG is active, you're gonna wade through the wade through the shallow end of the ocean. And that's because the weapon's active. When a shield is has bullets bouncing off it, it's an active weapon. You should be going slow as molasses with that thing. But there is absolutely no penalty. No penalty at all. Look at that. Look how fast those guys are moving. I think the movement. Grandpa's shooting dead people, but you tend to do that when you're in a hectic lobby. I think the movement is crazy. Grenades too. flying everywhere. We got people throwing out the gas. Grandpa's shooting at his own players. Now we take the lead in this game. And. That felt like giving birth to a to a I'm riot shield. Right I'm now. telling you, it was a hard game to fight your way to the hard point. Now, Grandpa will give up his life to get a few seconds, like I said, in the hard point, and that's okay. Hacked IFF strobe. The VTOLs don't bother us. The 
turrets don't bother us. The choppers don't bother us. Nothing bothers you. I have not been killed once in about 100 games when I use the hacked IFF strobe. Now, if somebody on your team isn't using it, port, guys. and they're near you, you can get a hacked by a streak. But otherwise, you're pretty golden. And when we play in the stream, we always talk about it. People wear it, use it. They may change at the end of the game when the, the streaks are coming out container. to it. But feeding the enemy streaks really is an excuse for not getting on the hard point because the streaks don't have any any impact on our on our matches. They have very minimal impact, let's put it that way. So it's tied now. Come back, come back, come back through the through the container. So the reasons why or one of the reasons why I put this video out mostly unedited in fact the first game was entirely unedited was just to let everybody know that we have easy lobbies we have difficult lobbies everybody does everybody does second reason is to let people know that the best players and I'm not counting myself as one but some of the players on my team they they sometimes get melted too in fact everybody gets melted I've get seen pros in the come CDL come get mel melted I know I've already said that but I'll say it again the third one was to invite everybody to come and play with us because we just have a rip roaring time I mean it is a lot of fun to play with people from all over the world various skill levels who have a common love of the game, who, by playing with us, acknowledge that they are not hacking and nor will they cheat in any way, and who will focus on winning the game. And we don't win that time. So give me your stories on, have you been melted, have you not? I mean, my first two years I was melted exclusively. Thank you for watching. and Thank you for growing the channel, helping being a part of the community here and the air crew lounge for those of you who are you can see Raxi got over 134 kills cheers and peace to you as always